so thank you so much ladies and gentlemen and karibu sana don't mind where i'm taking the video because i'm doing a selfie but it's well listen you see something unique happened today in the national prayer breakfast or the national prayer day which is a very significant day that um, we have been having you might have noted that um, the atheists were invited to attend the event and they were really there in fact their chairman <laughs> um, their, their head was present and so I was just wondering how he was carrying out himself how he was really getting along with the prayers yet they don't believe in praying okay of course they pray but they don't believe in the prayers that were being made at that time so i think that was very unique and we really need to know why they were really invited because most of the times they have been against such events but of course you see that is how god works sometimes what you are thinking would not happen is happening and you know william Ruto might have wanted to be a unique one which of course is really really trying to be for this time that is in office so that aside this time i want to play for you a video here and it is a video of apostle commander james maina nganga you see maina nganga um released a clip and most of the times he has been very controversial in his statements and whenever he speaks he speaks with a lot of vehemence that you would try to go deeper and look at them and perhaps you will be seeing some sense in whatever he says. So for this time round, Nganga was really bitter with the government. And he was very bitter with the man on top, the president. Because it's like the president has really betrayed him to the core. He was expecting that things would be different with the William Ruto's government. And that is exactly what everybody has been saying. It is not that Nganga is the first one that we are seeing coming on board to say that, okay, you know let's be real with ourselves the government has really failed us and again when you look at the way nganga was speaking um it was like he was expecting something for himself there was some interest that perhaps he was promised to be given the moment the man on top um makes his government to be operational but the cows have come home you know the commander is not seeing what he was promised and so nganga is very bitter and if you look at the significance of what Nganga was saying, this is exactly what the church is saying to President William Ruto. The people who have been, not even the people, the category of those who supported William Ruto, who are really now bitter, is the church. And for me, I take this with utmost seriousness, a lot of attention given to it. And this is a wake-up call that when we go to 27th general election, I think the people who will surely learn that once bitten twice shy these are the religious leaders and because they are always the gateway to the hearts of the people they are always the gateway to how people are resonating in coming up with moments of where do we go they are the people who can be swayed all of a sudden by these politicians and by these leaders and so this is a wake-up call to them and for nana's case there is more to even what he was actually saying I want you to listen to this clip and definitely connect and tell me what you think Nganga was really passing across. Can you tell me what you think? I am not sure that 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 I am not sure so na iweka tu hapa hata osolo osolo alikuja kwangu akanipatia pesa niliziweka hapo jana ndio nimeziondoa nikaziweka pamoja osolo is a very good friend of mine very friend of mine osolo sijui labda ni kwa vile simu kubwa man hata wewe gina walikuwa hivyo hivyo tu Hivile tu watu wakisha kuwa wakubwa Wanakuwa arrogant Mimi nikapige magoti na wali piga magoti kwangu Wegine hawa wakubwa na waona wali pika kwa nyumba yangu magoti Kwangu mimi Kwa nyumba yangu magoti wakapiga Wakati huo nyinyi mabisho amuku weko Hindi unikuwa controller Leo hii mi nikapige magoti No way No What 
Mungu hawezi kuwa mdogo anakuwa mkubwa kama mulipiga magoti siku hiyo hata leo mtapiga hata leo mtapiga hata ukiwa mkubwa hata uwe mkubwa wapi mimi nakuona vile nilikuona tu vile nilikuona ukipiga magoti hata sasa nakuona hivyo yule mtu mzee hata utairiwe hata uwe mkubwa baba yako anaonaga tu ka kijana kuna ka kijana kangu kamoja na sasa hiyo ka kijana mtu wako na mke wake na watoto wake baba yako hakuna siku atakuona mtu mkubwa sasa mtu ulipiga magoti kwangu mimi nikakuombea leo hii umekuwa mkubwa nije nipige magoti kwako mimi hai what wewe iwezekani na mimi sina shida na wewe kuwa mkubwa si umenikuta hawa wote wamenikuta nikiwa kwa platform wote hawa kubwa wako saizi wamenikuta kwa platform